Good morning from a sunny, well, no, from a very, very damp Norway. This is supposed to be my dry spell for a couple of hours before the, the rain uh, really hits, but no such luck. So I'll just have to have a final check of the weather apps to see what would be the best time to set out. It is supposed to be raining all afternoon, but uh, it started early. What can you do? So it's going to be a very short ride anyways. Well, short. Could be 15k, could be 70. And it all depends on the weather, obviously. I really do not fancy staying another night in a very, very expensive, overpriced, I might say, uh, cabin or something. But uh, we'll see. I'm not going to camp out in the a, in a wet either. So it very much looks like uh, the rain has finally caught up with me. Uh, yeah, such as uh, Norway, of course. Well, I'm guessing this has something to do with silver. Silver tun, silver snap. Oh, no coffee. I'd be interested in coffee. Finally stopped dripping for a bit, so uh, I hope I can make it in time to Valle for coffee and then it will probably start all over again, but I'm enjoying uh, a bit of a dry spell. Just had a very decent cappuccino, well, two, in Valle, and a very good sandwich. Expensive, of course, but uh, that was very good quality. Now it's the 30k, more or less, to Bikle. Uh, that could be the end point of today, if the weather turns sour again. If it stays okay, or like this, I might plow on to Hoogden. But it's all uphill today. <laughs> ah. So that's uh, going to be an effort. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Well, as picnic spots go, again, this is a good one. Very nice. It's a slippery, so I have to be careful. I'm already wet, so what's the worst that can happen, right? So I, I suppose I could do this. Bah, next time. But it sure makes for a nice uh, little pause again. Oh, lovely. On we go to Bikle. Ha. 
It's a bit wobbly though. Ooh. Right, on the main road we go again. Hands down the best bus stop ever. Look at this. Man, how beautiful. Ha! Flowers on top. Lovely. Well done, well done Norway. Love it. That was a sketchy entry to the tunnel. Luckily I can uh, bypass it and uh, have, a, have a nice view. It's actually some snow over there and we're not even at 400 meters. So I reckon it's about 7k to Bikla where I hope to be able to have a coffee stop and make plans for the rest of the day. Now actually I'm warm. Not certain what the weather's going to do. It might rain again in, in a second but I'm going to take off my rain jacket because uh, I'm cooking. Right, see you in a bit. Right, here we are, the outskirts, the suburbs of Bikle. Bikle, fingers crossed for coffee. So, after a very nice apple cake for eight euros and a very standard coffee, making a, the grand total of 13 euros, that was my late lunch. So now I've just left uh, Bikla and I'm going to descend a little bit. I've decided to try and uh, reach Hovden, which is 27k away from here. I'm just not sure if there's a campsite uh, near Hovden. I can't find it. Uh, there seem to be a few when I look on uh, Kamut, but uh, so I'm not sure what's, uh, what's true. If not, I'll have to uh, book a hotel again for 100 plus euros. Really not up to that, but uh, we'll see. Well, I was uh, riding nicely along and I thought, hey, this looks like a golf course. And it is. Pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Halfway between uh, Bikle and uh, where am I going? Hovden. But not a shabby place for a, for a little game. Nice. Right. Um, yeah, I'll push on. Stripping again. Not much, but. Uh, Oh well, can't be helped. I do hope for a dry day tomorrow. Uh, should be dry, but I've seen temperatures ranging from 9 to 12 degrees. and uh, It is summer, I have to remind myself. <laughs> Well, hi there. Um, I've arrived at yet another hotel, um, Hof de Stolen, and um, yeah, that's in Hofden because I didn't fancy uh, cycling in the rain for another 25 or 30k to um, Haukeli, I think it's, it's, the, it's the town. So yeah, again a lot of money. They, ha they have actually cabins here, so I was actually aiming for those. But um, the uh, very friendly reception said that uh, they are privately owned uh, and you have to have a reservation for those a day in advance, which of course I didn't, I couldn't do, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, but anyways, so um, for the sake of my um, wallet, it would be a good thing if it stays dry for a few days so I can go out camping and save quite a bit of money. But um, yeah, that's just the way it is. But until then, as always, enjoy your rides, stay safe out there, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.